Welcome to my cha 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 channel. So, I'm not gonna lie, I already tried to do the review and the video cut off. So, now it's not gonna be a first time taste. I apologize, but you know, I'm always honest on my channel. If you're new to my channel, I do unboxing and food reviews. I'm always honest and blunt. I would deeply appreciate if you subscribe. I'm always coming out with new content and it's free to subscribe. And like I just said, I'm always honest and blunt. I could lie and say, ooh, this is so good. I've had this before. I was doing that on camera, which is honest. That would have been my first time. And then the thing shut off. So now I have to start all over again. But I'm not going to lie and say, I've never had this before because I just tasted it. So I also have this product here, which I'm about ready to review. And that's going to be another video. But right now we're reviewing this. When I got this, I don't know why, but I literally thought you get the whole thing. I thought, you know, and then for a whole minute, like as I was driving the car, I was like, I wonder what kind of egg substitute they use. I wonder what kind of, you know, I was like wondering, and then something told me, it's like, well, maybe it's just the patties. And then sure enough, the crazy thing, it says five jackfruit sausage patties. Then it says one patty is a serving size and there's five serving per container. So you should get five patties. I didn't get five pennies. I got more. Okay. My roommate had one. Then I just made two. That's three, four, five, six, seven. So I got seven. So I got an extra two. However, some of these seem a little bit thicker. They're thin overall, but maybe when I cooked it, it got thin because I don't know. To me, that's it. Well, actually, that's not much of a difference. So I don't, maybe they're normally thicker. I don't know. But I got seven instead of five. The smell frozen definitely smells like a breakfast sausage patty. But there's another smell. And it doesn't taste bad. I don't dislike the smell at all. And I know this is going to sound crazy. But that other smell is like, like after you blow out a candle, that kind of like smoky. It kind of smells like that. And I know this is going to sound crazy, but I'm always in blunt on my channel. If you ever went to a Bed Bath & Beyond, there's that clean smell. and someone's like a linen smell. It just has a little bit of that smell. Which is really odd. But it doesn't smell like, that smells like soap. No, not like that. So, there's different ways to cook this, okay? I fried it in oil. There's a stove top method, which is the, the recommended. The oven worked the weight, but it's not highly recommended. And then the microwave, which, you know, I could microwave it and, you know what, I'll microwave it and tell you in the comments what I think. Like, you know. So anyway, really quick, simple ingredients. Yes, I'm about ready to taste it. Simple ingredients. Jackfruit, water, soy flour, canola oil, coconut oil, spices, natural flavor, white onion, apple cider vinegar. Contains 2% or less of salt, brown sugar, methylcellulose, which is a plant fire fiber, garlic powder, fruit and vegetable juice color. I'm really out of it right now. My neck's been killing me. I started getting a headache, so I had to take a little extra of my pain medicine. So, um, you seen the, the video I just did though. Um, yeah, I was accused of theft at, um, a convenience store. That still like stressed me out really bad. So let's get right on it. Okay. Um, this is what it looks like when you fry it up. Yes, it burnt around the edges, but only on one side. And I'm really impressed, really impressed by the texture. It, you know, it doesn't fall apart and crumble. It's like really held together. And another thing I like about this is, is I'm not saying that I hate Beyond Meat or Impossible Meat, but a lot of these vegan and vegetarian items that you buy at the store is so highly, highly processed. And I like the fact that they're using the first ingredient is this jackfruit. You know, it's not like highly processed. Um, and then water, soy flour, canola oil. I mean, these ingredients are just like easy pr pronounced. There's not a whole lot. You know, they're not taking a fiber, I'm sorry, a protein and like doing a lot of stuff to it. The first thing is jackfruit. And the rest is pretty much flavoring and some binders to hold it together. But um, yeah, so that's that's one thing I like. And I really like the fact that it holds together and 
there's not like a whole lot of textures going on here, but that's enough to mimic meat. And it does not taste like jackfruit at all. I honestly can say that if someone knows what jackfruit tastes like, they might not, they would probably not 100% think that this is not meat, you know what I'm saying? Like, but I don't think they're going to say, oh, this is jackfruit. Which is just unbelievable. Now, how does it taste? Really good. It's not too salty. It's a mildly sweet, but it's not like overly sweet. Another vegan um, breakfast patty I like is Hillary's. Okay. But she makes one with like apple and it's kind of more on the sweet side. I'm not crazy about that one. I think it's the spicy breakfast patty sauces that I like the most. And I've reviewed other ones before from other companies. I'm going to continue to review more. And let please let me know like what breakfast sausages you like. But stuff like Moneystar Farms, it's so highly processed. I feel like this is more of a whole plant-based. Hillary's does seem to taste a little bit more whole food based. But this is really good. It's not too spicy. Like, the seasoning and the spices is, like, well done. Like, I wouldn't... They could maybe cook up a little bit more on the seasoning, though, if I'm being honest. Like, it's a little bit... It could be a little bit more. But it doesn't taste very salty. It's not greasy. It doesn't taste like jackfruit. It doesn't taste sweet. The texture is really really close to meat. I'm chewing it. Because, you know, meat, the texture is not always the same. you got little gristly pieces and whatnot. I don't know if you can see that, but it's definitely there. I'm trying to think if you could fool someone, though. Because it does seem to be missing just a little something. As far as that grisly, fatty, you know. Is it as good, though, as the Impossible breakfast sausage that you can get, like, at Starbucks? That one, it's missing that little, I guess you call it heme. Is what Impossible Foods. But I like the fact that this doesn't taste as processed. And Impossible, I believe, is GMO. I'm not sure on that, so I don't want to get sued. I think it is. I don't think this is GMO. No, it's not. It's GMO. It's, it's made without gluten. So, does the Impossible taste a little bit better than this? Yes. But after I eat Impossible, a lot of times I just don't feel right because of the stuff they put in it. I would pick this over the Impossible, like, nine, most of the time. Most of the time. Unless I'm really craving, like, meat meat. Like, oh, I really miss meat. I haven't had it in a long time. Then I would maybe do the impossible. And then if I want something really healthy tasting and like very, very whole plant based, it's even more gets the feeling of whole plant, like a healthy, you know, breakfast, then I may pick the Hillary's. But I still love this a lot. So um, every day, you know, sausage for breakfast, I'd probably pick this one. And if I want like to feel like, because I'm not saying this isn't light. But if I really want to feel more lighter, I'd probably pick the Hillary's. And if I want to indulge in something that tastes really meaty and reminds me of salt, then I'd probably do the impossible. On a scale of 1 to 10. Look at that. This is unbelievable. I wish I remember what I gave the Hillary's and the impossible sausage. This is going to be a high number because I just cannot get over the texture and how this is held together really well. It could need a little bit of salt, which is a good thing because you can't take salt out. 
The more I eat this, the more I'm like shocked that this isn't meat. It's kind of like, as I mean, I'm like, hmm, is this meat? I'm giving this a solid nine, maybe more, but at least, at least a nine. I highly recommend getting it, and I will definitely buy it more often. I'm not a big time breakfast person. I'm not. Okay. But I think I'm always going to try to have something like this or this in the freezer when I'm craving breakfast. It does have a little bit of a kick, but not much. And I love spicy food. And I haven't had real breakfast sausage. Like, in a, I don't, it's been many, many, many years. And this is what it reminds me of. It's a very, very savory, too. Um, so that's my review. I'm about to review this one. Um, yeah, I had to take some extra pain pills. I'm still under what I'm allowed to take. I haven't taken extra, extra like that. It's just, I pretty much have already taken my dose I'm allowed in a day, and the day isn't over yet. So I normally take the extra dose like at night. So I'm a little bit out of it. So let me know what other foods you want me to try. And that's only to my subscribers. Don't forget to look below the video because I'll have all kinds of links and goodies. And also a way for you to support this channel, which mean the world to me. And there'll also be a link to other stuff like my TikTok and other things. So until next time, I hope you have an awesome day. All right.